see this in your prelims, if not, then in your A levels. Okay, so when you think about strategies of firms, what is the objective of any strategy? Is it to achieve efficiency? You know, it's to maximize profits. So are you okay if I tell you any content, any diagram is going to be your A12, B12? Yes. Example, if I do R and D, okay, R and D can result in product or process innovation, correct? When you improve the product, you're going to get A2. Does that make sense? You're going to get A2 because you're going to get outward shift and steeper curves. Because your products are less substitutable. Okay? Then this is going to result in B2 higher productivity. Assuming wages grow more slowly. But this is the plus. Your minus R&D increases your fixed costs. Therefore, B1. It all goes back to the same structure. Okay. Yeah, process innovation is about higher productivity. So we don't use that to explain higher revenue, but we use it to explain lower variable costs. What other strategies have you heard of? R&D is non-price competition, right? It's quite similar to advertising. It's quite similar, okay? You will have the plus is your A2, the downside is your B1. Another strategy is mergers. Yeah, mergers and acquisitions. Okay. So these strategies, um, okay, one of you asked, do we have to illustrate the higher fixed cost from R&D on the diagram? You see, uh, here we have three diagrams, right? A2, B2, B1. To me, uh, at least one diagram is good enough. Okay. In the case study, you don't really have so much time to draw. Just one of these diagrams will be good enough, but do explain the rest in words, including which curves are affected. Okay. Collusion. Okay. Price competition. Diversification. Sometimes they even have cost cutting. Lowering of costs as a strategy. Okay. And the last one that I have seen is price discrimination. Okay. Advertising, uh, you can say brand awareness, I would shift. Brand loyalty is deeper. 